Hi everybody, this is a video of the Radium 250 Watt High Pressure Mercury Vapor Flood Light Bulb. As you can see, this is the Mercury Vapor Flood Light Bulb I got from eBay uh, about last week. And as you can see on it, it says Radium. And, uh, and I thought I'd get this bulb because this bulb really caught my eye because I looked at it for a while on eBay. I wasn't sure whether to buy it or not because it was a bit pricey. And then, and then I took a chance of this and it says Radium on it. So... Anyway guys, uh, let's get it out of its box and you'll see in one second or two everybody you know, to unwrap all this. I know this is all, I know as you can see it's right in there so let's take that little, oh, oh it's coming out now, let me just get off between my legs. Oh, I don't seem to want to come out does it, so let's take, let me just hold it so, oh, get all good that is, oh. right got it out now so. Put the thing on the breakfast tea table. So, so anyway, I'll put this on here. This little ring thing. So, anyway, so anyway, guys, uh, here I have the radium two hundred fifty watt high pressure mercury vapor floodlight bulb. And as you can see on it, it's a very huge type of bulb. It's as big as the Osram and the GEC one. It's like the same size. It's got 250 watts. It's like a it's like a wheel shape. And look at the front. It's got that little hook thing, and that's a little dint hole in the centre of the the bulb. And it's like a like a pure spot bulb, which it is though. It's for more pale colour. And around it, on the surrounding, it's quite white. And as you can see, it's quite frosted on on the very. It's quite frosted on around this um, around this topping there. It's um it's like a pearlish clear. And as you can see through there, it's got it's got a heat reflecting shield. Uh, it's used to stop the heat burning on the cap, and it can burn against the reflector, the heat reflecting shield. So as you can see on it, and it's fitted with the Edison Forty stainless steel screw cap. It's the Edison Forty, and I thought to get this bulb because it's because it really caught my eye. And as a let's have a look at the top. Let's hold it between my legs, guys. So so as you can see, um. I hold it this way. You can see. Look at it this way. Um, as you can see, it's a uh, it's a bit more um topped out a bit. But the other two were the GEC one and the Osram one are a bit more flatter. But this one's a little bit bit more topped out a bit. So um, so it's a bit it's a bit bowed out. So so as you can see, it's like a spot bulb. It's like an incandescent spot bulb. I've tested it and it and it works fine. And it's got this good re strike on it. And um. And what does it say on it? <laughs> it says, um, if it comes in focus, it says on it, Radium HRLSV, yeah, Radium HRLSV, 250 watt, made in Germany, S5. That's what it says on the edge. So, um, that's what it all says on it. So, anyway, guys, let's uh, get it into its box, into the, into the fitting now, so... That's it now it's fitted in very nice and tightly it's fitted in like so so anyway guys all i'm gonna do now is turn off uh, turn off this big lamp now so right that's it now onto the the big lamp's gone out now onto the radium 250 watt high pressure mercury vapor flood light bulb everybody ready after three one two three wow as you can see, it's shining a very nice reddish pink colour, but the gas in the centre shines more bluish white, but the surrounding looks very more reddish pink, it's like uh, reddish pink as watermelon. And look at it all around, it looks more pink, yeah. So as you can see on it, and look at it over above that way, it's like a full moon shape and it's starting to change into a lilac colour. Um, and uh, to tell you all this, but last night I did have a bit of a dream about my old primary school. I went to visit it, and now this evening this light bulb came after when I had a dream about my primary school. So as you can see on it now, it's shining, start to shine a bit more a peachy, bluish colour. It's coming up like a like a turquoise colour, and uh, on, the, on all around. But the surrounding is more like a lilac, but the, the gas in the aperture it shines more um, a bluish white colour. Well, from my eyes, it shines more blue blue on my on me cam on the camera but I use it on my tablet and, uh, and it does make a loud humming noise and what have you guys 
yeah so um so as you can see on it and and it does make a loud racket because it's a uh, it is making a loud noise because it's just started up it it will quieten down as um yeah it will quieten down as soon as when the this bulb fully warm it reaches its full brightness when it fully warms up it does take about a couple of minutes to fully warm up and um and these bulbs like these do make, remind me of my old primary school and that's all it does so and as you can see and it makes a loud a loud noise yeah and um it's um and it like i said it, it will and it, it looks quite as big as this uh led bulb that i, I youtube the other day well two days ago so i'm using this new lamp now so youtube so i don't have to um take have to replace the bulb out of this one so I used um, I've used that fitting for YouTube before, so I put that in. That's a three hundred watt LED T bulb, so I'm using that for, and that's a good bulb to show, and it shows it. It stands out a lot better, brighter. This bulb changes a lot of different colours. It looks like it's shining more whiter, and all it is now it's shining more, um, and it shines a bit more a white to uh, white all around and surrounding and what have you guys. So. Let's take a look at it over this way. Oh, as you can see now, it's like you can see see the ring right inside the bulb. Yeah, and uh, and it does. It came out on like a beautiful, beautiful red, reddish pink color. It's like red as a cherry or strawberry. That's what mercury vapor bulbs do. They come on like that type of red color when they start up, and then they change like pink and then into lilac. And now finally, it's reaching its full brightness. Yeah. So, like I said. Now, when I looked on eBay, I thought about buying this bulb a couple of weeks ago, but I wasn't too sure because it because it was quite expensive. But but I thought, oh well, after this week, I decided to get this bulb because and this bulb really caught my eye. And that's the third uh, reflector, yeah, a third Mercury floodlight bulb I've got now at 250 watts. But in total, I've got actually got five, including those two self ballasted ones at 160 watts, and they're both self ballasted. I hope I might be able to come across a self-ballasted mercury bulb in this make at 250 watts or even 160 or even at 500. I hope I do because I because that'd be worth to do YouTube as like as well as doing this one. Yeah, so does this uh anyway, let's uh, have a look. Let's take a good look at this. Shall we guys? So as you can see, it's got these little important safety tips and I could read them. I'll just read the English one, right? That's it now. If I, if I could see it now under the under the mercury lights, if the I just have to wait till when the camera comes in focus. So, so, so I might have to just uh, read it from my eyes if I read it all in that way. So, um, it says attention. That's what it says on it. Oh, here we go. Uh, attention. Operate lamp with only yeah. Operate lamp only with a choke. Operate of this lamp without or with a damaged outer jacket is dangerous and not permissible. That's what it says on it. But I know that the, you, you're supposed to operate this lamp with a choke because if you didn't have a choke at all, it would just blow the fuse like like that 80 watt did in me uh, years and years ago when I tried one. And, uh, and then the other usually say, don't try this at home. And that's what they say if the, if the light bulb goes faulty and what have you. So and it's all in it's all in different foreign languages, but I'm not going to read them all in different foreign languages. I'll just uh, always read the English one because it's easier. So, um, so anyway, uh, is there everything else in its box. No, it's only got that little cardboard ring, and that's usually to hold um, the bottom of this bulb in place nice and tightly. But it's made out of cardboard. It's made of paper. This is quite old though. It's like an old vintage paper. But that's worth to keep. Oh, hang on. There's something on it, as you can see on it. So, anyway, like I said on it, on this little tip, it says, um, HR, yeah, HRLSV, yeah, HRLSV, 250 watts, radium. I know, it's a, it sounds like, like a hot word, radium. I never, I think, I wonder if that's a new company for a light bulb. It must be an old one now, but I don't think radium exists anymore, so I don't know. So it's got like, a GLS light bulb and a fluorescent tube it looks more like a T8 fluorescent tube than a T12 one yeah so and that's all it says on it so anyway guys let's get straight back to the bulb itself so so as you can see now guys it looks more like green around it's like P2 
peachy screen around on the white surrounding. But let's take a look over above uh, the light bulb. As you can see, yeah, it looks a bit like a full moon when I look at it that way. Yeah, and it's got this uh, support ring on it. So, and that's what you can see on it. So, and, the, and as you can see, it looks like a white wheel shape. Yeah, a bit like a sun. But it's a nice white colour. But like I said, I did dream about my primary school last night. But I don't think any of those lights were there when I went to visit it in my dream. But anyway, guys, so as you can see now, um, the the radium, um, yeah, the radium 250 watt high pressure mercury vapor floodlight bulb has reached its full brightness at uh, 250 watts bright and hot and everything, guys. So, so as you can see now, it's a, it's a, got fully brighter now. So anyway, guys, I'm, all I'm going to do now is turn this big light out now. So. And as you can see now, it looks like you can see the, the the cathodes lighting up, but they're fading away. They do take a little time to fade away, so and that's all it does. So, anyway guys, I'm going to turn this uh, big LED light back on now. So, right, that's it now. The, the big lamp's back on now, everybody. So... Anyway, guys, uh, this is a video of the yeah. This is a video of the the radium two hundred and fifty watt high pressure mercury vapor floodlight bulb. Everybody, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.